Tracy here with BibleJourneyMinistries.com and in this video I'm going to do a review of, of the Arteza or Arteza acrylic paint pens. This is the Count 40 that come in a big nice package full of 40 wonderful paint pens. I absolutely love them so I can't wait to do this review with you. Plus I am always also going to be doing Bible journaling entry at the end of the video. So stay to the end if you want to see how we use the pens in Bible journaling and do let me know if you like to do Bible journaling when I do these reviews. Otherwise, I can just do the review. It's a very simple video, but I love to show you how you use it in your Bible as well. So let me know if you like that in the comments below. And if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're doing a review of the Arteza 40 Bright Colors Quick Drying Low Odor Ink Water-Based UV Resistant Blendable Acid-Free acrylic markers premium count of 40. So we're doing that review today. I'm gonna to review them against my Posca pens, which you guys know I love and always use. So we're gonna see how they compare against each other. And if you stick it to the end, I will be doing some Bible journaling with our printable, Genesis chapter three, verses four through five, good and evil printable. And you get in that printable, you get these two in the smaller sizes, and then you also get in the larger sizes as well. So those are available in our store. But let's go ahead and get started with the review. So let me open these up. I just got these in the mail. I bought them on Amazon Prime Day myself. So these weren't sent to me by Ardiza or Ardiza. They were not sent to me. I bought them because I was like, well, I've been asked about them and I wanted to be able to share with you guys what I thought because you guys already know how much I love my Posca pen. So I thought it would be fun to do a little test. See if I can get this out of there. Okay, Ooh. so it comes in this kind of packaging, clamshell packaging with the top and a lot of different colors. Now, the price on this on Amazon, regular price is $50.89, which works out to about $1.27 per marker. Now, I did purchase it on Amazon Prime Day, so look out for Black Friday sales if you're interested, but I did purchase them for $42.49, which works out to be about $1.06 per marker, which is actually really good. I love acrylic paint pens because they don't bleed through, and we're gonna find out if these bleed through on the Bible. So before we do anything in our Bible, let's check them out and compare them against our Posca pens. Let me just grab a piece of paper to use here. There's so many different colors in here. I think it's so beautiful. I mean, because the Posca pens, I don't know that they come in all the different colors, but there are a ton of colors in this kit. Now the Posca pen, if you want to know, and I'm not sure on the nibs. I haven't even looked at the nibs, but this set here, let's see, this set cost me about mm, somewhere around $30-ish. So this was around $30. This was around on sale $42.50 and you get a ton more in here. So I'm hoping they're just as good quality. So I think the best thing to do is like, why don't we test out the black? Because I use the black all the time. Now, I don't know the nib size, so we're gonna find out the nib size. So this says, shake well before initial use to reactivate the marker. So I actually have a Posca pen in the size, uh, this is a size, I believe it's a size 5M, even though it says three. I, I think this says three. This is a 3M, yeah. This is a 3M, this is a 5M. So just in case this nib is bigger, I wanted to make sure that I had something to compare it against. I haven't seen these before, so I don't know. But they are non-toxic. So anytime you get these paint pens, you have to prime them. If you are in an area of high elevation, then you want to first just um, put your finger down and, and press it once while it's up, up, while it's facing up. Because sometimes the air pressure, if you, if you try to prime it down like you're usually told to do, it will just flood everywhere. Uh, so if you are in a higher elevation, I would first press down to release any air that's maybe built up in there. That way you won't have it 
everywhere. <laughs> that way you won't have it where you don't want it. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna prime it. So get like a piece of paper or something you don't mind getting acrylic paint on. So I can use one of these mats that I made. I made these little Bible mats out of a Dollar Tree cutting mat. So to make the ink come out of the marker, you just wanna depress it and get that ink to flow down. You might have to do it a few times. Come on. Sometimes you have to get it a few times to get it to go. Come on. And then see it's starting to saturate the tip, which is nice. There we go. I just want to get that tip saturated so I can compare it against the Posca pen. Now the Posca pen, it definitely looks like it's more of a 5M size nib. Let's check. Yeah, it's got to be closer. It's actually even bigger than a 5M size. So I'll just compare it with the 5M. The 3M is a lot thinner and that's this is the kind I use in Bible journaling all the time, which I love this size nib. If I could get any of the if I could get this in the same size nib, I would probably buy it. But I already bought it in the bigger nib because that's all they had and I wanted to test them. So let's go ahead and just draw some lines. That works really nice. And now I'll just kind of compare it with my Posca pen. And it looks to be very similar. <laughs> mm, I can't really tell much of a difference to be honest with you. Let's see if I can get by pressing a little bit lighter. Maybe a thinner. Maybe a thinner line. And I'll try this with a Posca pen. My Posca pen seems to be flowing a little bit better, but let me just ink this up a little bit more because I've been using my Posca pen for a while. So it may just have, it may just be me. I would say that I do like the flow of the Posca pen better, but it could just be that I fact that I just use it all the time. This nib just seems, seems to be just a little drier. It's not saturated as much, I don't think. So I'm just gonna keep saturating it and see if I can't get the same kind of feel. Like when I, when I draw on it with this marker, it feels a little like it's grabbing the paper a little bit more. In the Posca pen, I just kind of touch down and it seems to release it well. So, but from an ink perspective, they look pretty similar. Let's pick a different color so that we can check out like what the colors look like and all that. Okay, so let's do, let me find one that kind of might match this one. There's all kinds of blues in this set. So which one would be the most likely to match this one? Maybe this one, let me grab, how many blues do you get? Wow, good grief. And then you get some green ones. You get a lot of different, I mean, I love the variety in this pack because wow, like seriously, all the blues. And I love that you can see the different colors. So you have the peacock blue, you have sapphire blue, you have fluorescent blue, ooh, fluorescent blue. Oh, that's exciting. You have Arctic blue, and then you have the Egyptian blue. So let me write 
here with my Posca pen with the blue that I have here. I have always loved the Posca pen because the flow of the ink. And let me just kind of get this guy going. Now I didn't depress him because I'm actually in the city right now and I'm not in a higher altitude. So I don't, I don't have to depress it the opposite way. I can just press down on my little mat here and get that ink to flow. Flow, flow ink. This does seem like a lighter blue. But man, in terms of variety, in terms of variety, I gotta tell you, the art is a variety. Wow, all these different blues you can use. You could really create some amazing artwork with it as well. All right, so that's a little bit darker. That's a beautiful color, that peacock blue. I am just loving all of these different colors. So yeah, I just opened this pack as we were as you saw on the camera. So I haven't like primed these. So I'm sorry if it's taking a little bit long. Oh, here's one that kind of matches that one. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, I would say these are equivalent to the Posca pen. Uh, it, it just, as so I'm just kind of playing with them The flow is good. The paint is good. I'm not seeing any, I'm not seeing any downsides to it. Let me see what else they say on the pack. Um, they say they're quick drying and that's true. Should have let that one dry a little bit longer, but the rest of them are quick drying. So they're quick drying, low odor. Yeah, I can't smell them. Nope, no odor. Uh, Water-based, UV resistant, blendable, and acid-free blendable. Let's do some blending. Let's do some blending. I wanna do some blending. Okay, a little bit of the Arctic Blow with the And we'll blend them together, blend them together. Yeah, they blend. I don't know if you should blend them that way because now I have a little bit of that color on the tip of this marker. So, hmm, maybe what you should do is blend them like maybe a little bit of ink, a little bit of ink, then come in with a different color, maybe next to it like that, and then come in with some water and then blend them together. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. So yeah, I really like them. I would recommend them. I'm trying to see if there's anything else like that's fascinating about these. It's not like the cap comes off, so they're not refillable. Oh, oh, you can see how much paint's still left in there. Oh, well, that's cool. Let's look at this. I don't know that you guys can see this, but and you probably can. But you can see the bubbles and you can see how much paint you well I don't know if you can see how much paint but you can see that you still have paint in there huh so yeah before you use them make sure you shake them up I'm not sure if I've been if I've been shaking them up on the camera but you do need to shake them up before you use them and the and if I didn't shake them up then you just saw them right out of the package and I mean I mean they're pretty awesome for right out of the package pretty cool okay let's do another color besides blue I'm just throwing them in there. Just throwing them in there. Um, let's do a little white. I think it'd be great to do some white. Um, hmm, where should I do the white on? Let's just do it on this on this on this cover. So this is my Posca pen in the white. I oh, love the Posca pen in the white. And now let's try this Arteza pen in the white. Shake, shake, shake it up. Hobby Lobby used to sell paint pens as well, 
and I it's called Artisan. I don't think they sell them anymore, but I thought those are pretty good. Let me show you that one real quick. This was the Hobby Lobby brand, which I don't know if they use, if they actually do sell those anymore. But it would come with an extra nib. Now I believe these ones here are, the nibs are replaceable, I think. Yeah, replaceable tips. So if you dam if you accidentally blend one color into another color and you want to replace the tip, then you can, oh, oh my gosh, you get extra replaceable tips in here. Wow. Okay, so if you do what I did, which is like color with the blue and then color with the other blue and then get the blue on the other blue nib, you can replace the nibs. Oh, and it looks like you can do, oh, are these smaller nibs? I don't know, let's try. Okay, let's do this first. One thing at a time, Tracy, one thing at a time. Those look like smaller nibs. I might really, I might just be really liking these pens in just a moment if, if that's what I think it is, a smaller nib. Like, wouldn't that be awesome? Okay, come on. It's coming out, guys. Just give it some time. Give it some time. Patience. All right. Oh, yeah. That goes, that flew, you know, flows really well against the, you know, the different other two. So let's wait, give it a chance to dry while we see what else is in the package that I didn't see. Okay. So the package includes like a ton of extra nibs. What in the world? What is I, huh? Okay, and that, oh, oh wait, there's something else in the package. All right, now we have to let it all out. Okay, y'all are getting the unboxing from, <laughs> this is probably the worst unboxing you've ever seen. Okay, so sorry, people, I'm so sorry. Um, but wow. So the little container, actually you can put all of the markers in it so it stores them upright pretty well if you want to take them out of the package then it has these tweezers so i suspect the tweezers are for replacing the nib i suspect but let's let's replace the nib on one and see how that process is because i know with my posca pens you do not get replaceable nibs so no, but with these, you do. Huh. I wish they would just say it was in the package. I'm just trying to see if I missed them. It says works on most surfaces, stone, glass, wood, metal, fabric, porcelain, fabric. Hmm. Well, that'll be interesting. If you've ever used these for fabric and have washed it, I would be interested in knowing if it didn't wash out. I don't believe they stain fabric. I believe they would wash right out. Porcelain it works on, canvas, plastic, paper, cardboard, and pottery, it says. And then it says, replaceable tips. Looks like you have the flat tip and the pointy tip. It says, Con contains 37 bright colors, three metallic colors, 40 replaceable chisel tips, and a pair of tweezers. So 40 of these replaceable tips. So let's check it out. Let's let's do one. Let's grab one. Uh, let's grab maybe yellow, because I love yellow. All right, so first of all, let me pull that nib out. So this is the way it goes in with a little end goes in the um it goes down in the socket like this so that's how it goes but i wonder i wonder if we can flip the nib and get the smaller nib i don't know if that would work we can try it, let's just try it. But this will be a chisel tip right here that I'm using. So I just place this down because that's the replaceable nib. So the nib that you get, the 40 that you get are the 40 replaceable chisel tips. So you can decide, do you want the round tip like what I usually use or do you want the chisel tip? Um, so let me just depress that for you. And we'll get that going. 
and we can show you what that looks like as that chisel tip gets saturated with the color. Okay, so that is that. And let me just grab our paper here and I will just show you that chisel tip. So for those of you guys who like the chisel tips, you can, you do get them in the pack. So now you don't have to decide. You get to choose. <laughs> don't you love choice? I love choice. So there is a chisel tip. And by the way, you can use, you don't, the, you don't have to use just the broad end like I've been using, but you can use the little tip as well and create designs with the little tip. So feel free. Awesome, I love that. Now I wonder if we can do it in reverse. So can I do a small nib here? Can I just flip this upside down and try it? Let's try it guys. I know this is crazy and I'm sure this is not what I'm supposed to be doing, but I feel like I just wanna try it. So come on. So the ink is starting to saturate the nib. And I'm sure I'm I'm sure you're not supposed to do this, but I'm just gonna try because I'm curious. And there's nothing like being curious and doing something totally like you're not supposed to be doing. The reason why I'm holding this tip with my tweezers is because if I depress it too much, that tip is gonna bend. And I don't want that tip to bend because I want that little thin pointy point to it. See? Now, it didn't go all the way down the, it doesn't fit the right way, so I know I'm not supposed to do this, but I'm just, I'm really curious if I can get me a real thin, line yeah I am getting thinner lines and you can well that would make me happy I can totally use these as a thinner marker but again it's not supposed to be done like this and I bet you I can't put the cap on let's see yeah you can't put the cap on with it like that so I guess what you can do is if you want the thin line is to you know put it in the way it's supposed to be put in when you put the cap on it. But if you want to try to do the thin line, just turn it, grab your tweezers and just do them upside down. <laughs> and then you can, you can write with a thin line. Okay, it's a little wonky, but you can do it if you want to. So um, there's that purple. Let me just show you the Posca pen in the purple. Oh look, that one hasn't even been primed. So it's probably still good. Let me depress that. Uh, Cause these were actually traveling with me. So I know there was some air in the top of that. Let me prime this one. This is a Posca pen in the size that I love. which if you wanna know the size specifically, it's 0.9 to 1.3 millimeter. Come on, it's coming guys. It's just, these pens take a little bit to, to get the ink to flow. Okay, so the Posca pen's way thinner in terms of the line, even matching up against the, the wrong way of turning in the, um, replaceable tip. So even against this, this Posca pen is still thinner. So 0.9 to 1.3. But the Artisa doesn't say what size. So I would say for the Artisa, if I had to guess, I would guess it's closer to 1.8 to 
two and a quarter millimeter maybe on the width of that tip. So all in all, I really like them. Let's go ahead and do some Bible journaling with them. Now that you've seen everything in the pack, so you know what comes in it and you may like it. And if you like it, like I like it, then awesome. You can purchase it. I will put a link for you and that does support our channel. If you like our reviews, please, please, please give us a thumbs up. That really does help other people see it. Helps with those algorithms. All right, so we're in Genesis chapter three, verses four through five. I'm reading it out of an ESV journaling Bible. This is a double column journaling Bible. In chapter three, we're talking about the fall. We're in verses four through five. Actually, I'm gonna start, let's see, I'll start at do, do, do. let's start at verse one now the serpent was more crafty than any other beast of the field that the lord god had made he said to the woman did god actually say you shall not eat of any tree in the garden and the woman said to the serpent we may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden but god said you shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that's in the midst of the garden neither shall you touch it lest you die but the serpent said to the woman, you will surely not die. For God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for fruit and it was a delight to the eyes and the tree that was to be, and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise, she took the fruit and she ate it. And she also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate. Boy, is that satan a little crafty or what he is certainly crafty and very very much lying so um i'm gonna start with a little let me just start with the, the printable itself and since we have the posca pens we can oh i'm not sure if this printable is gonna work for me yep there we go um i print out my printables on sticker paper and then i cut them out with my machine my silhouette machine so i'm going to take this here and i am going to place it here and i'm going to hang it off the side of the page a little bit okay so i have to be real careful with this side here so i can either put some baby powder here on the back or my my um ek success powder tool so it won't be so sticky or i can come in and put some something behind it like maybe another piece of sticker paper here and then just kind of trim around it so just be uh, aware of that I'm just gonna stick it down so it holds that page down all right so then I can come in here and I can start doing a little design work so I might come in here first with a little bit of grass so oh they have so many different colors of grass and it's so fun to play with all these different colors so let me just get this primed and ready to go and I'm gonna do some of this green. I think I'm gonna come in with some of this blue. So let's just get that going. There we go, now it's there. All right, let's do this. I want to place a Bible map behind my page because I do not want it to accidentally go and hit another page uh, uh, accidentally. So maybe I come in with this grass here. And I'm actually coloring over the washi to see how this handles that. So I just come in here with a little bit of this paint. Just drawing a little bit here with my marker and I might come in just a little bit into the graphic itself just so it blends. There we go. Okay. Let's see. And then what I'm thinking is I wanna come in here with this blue, kinda of do like a a little bit of coloring in the blue so like the sky 
So I'm gonna fast forward through this part cause I'm just gonna be coloring blue for a bit and then I'll be right back. proceed I do want to show you the um, EK success powder tool that I use to uh, destickerize the back of this page so let me just do that real quick and again I think baby powder works just as good so you don't need this tool but if you want one we do have it in our Amazon affiliate store shop and you can check out that link in the description and support this channel when you shop at no extra charge to you Okay, so that makes it not sticky, the part that's hanging off at the edge. I did want to also show you that when they say they're blendable, they are blendable. So I can just put some marker down. I can maybe add a little bit of blue over here. I can take my paintbrush and just kind of blend those together. So it does blend okay. I mean, it's not like watercolor here. It is acrylic paint. So the fact that it's even blendable is pretty amazing and you can add some some water to your paintbrush and then that will help kind of smooth out some of those strokes which might be helpful I'll flip the page over in just a minute so you can see if it bleeds through and, and what it does but I like that you're able to kind of create some texture with the with the markers here and then just come in with your paintbrush and just add a little more to it. I like it, it's neat. Um, I also like the ability of using a pen because I can get in on spots that on my sticker where it was white and I can just kind of dab in the color here and there. And that makes it easier. It's a little bit easier sometimes than a paintbrush just to come in with a paint pen. Sometimes it's just nicer to use different, different things and. I just enjoy trying different things out and sharing them with you. Another thing you can do is you can add details. So I can come in here and add like little grass details with a different color grain. And that just kind of gives it a little bit more of more interest. And then obviously there's, there's a little spot over here that's still white that I can get to as well. But as we're doing this, we're thinking about the fall. We're thinking about how uh, deceptive Satan is. He's like, did God really say that to you? And then he's, then, so then she's immediately questioning if, did she hear him, right? You know, did, did she hear God, right? When he said, don't eat of the, um, the tree and then of, of this, of the, of the tree and, and, um, He's like, you know, twisting words and stuff. He's just so crafty. And he's that way anyways in our lives for sure. He likes to twist things. And that's why sometimes we can get mad at each other when it's not <laughs> each other's fault. Because he'll twist things. And, and um, oh, by the way, it doesn't, I mean, it does okay on the washi, but it does disperse pretty if you are using it on washi tape, especially metallic washi tape, it disperses really fast. So you don't get a clean line when you're using your Arteza marker on a, a metallic washi, just so you know. I didn't find that it worked well there on that at all. And let me just fold that down. And when I turn this page, you can see if it bled through. Let's check it out. A, a tiny bit of bleed through actually. And, and actually it's not bad considering I used a lot of paint. You just see just a tiny bit of bleed through on here. And I really rarely ever see that in, in my acrylic paint pens, but there's just a, a little tiny bit. The rest of it's some really dark shadowing, but I just see just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit 
a bleed through and that's probably because I did come in and add the water and all that so not bad I think it's pretty awesome actually I might come in here as well with my stickers here that say the fall let me grab the right one I was using the other one I like to use them off the same page if I can and um, if it'll come up for me I'm gonna do the fall here I love to do my Bible journaling with stickers and with paint and I just have like a lot of fun and really gives me a chance to think about the Bible more because I'm sitting in here actually doing the work in the Bible so it's not like I'm out doing a you know art in my art journal and not thinking about the Bible I'm in here in my Bible journaling thinking about how crafty Satan is and you know he can twist words and make things seem you know a certain way and then we just fall into sin right I'm like thinking about that verse like did God in verse um, in chapter 3 uh, verse 1 did God actually say you shall not eat of any tree in the garden Isn't that interesting he just goes up to the woman and he goes did God actually say you shall not eat of any tree in the garden? So now she's like questioning herself and she's like, well, we can eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden, but God said not, basically not the one in the middle, in the midst of the garden. And you can't even touch it, she says. And so then he comes in here and he's like, mm, no, that's not the case. Your eyes will be open. And um, yeah, and that is the start of the fall. I'll tell you what. I always feel kind of bad for Eve because she gets like, she gets the blame for all this. And, and yeah, I mean, <laughs> rightfully so. But you know, Adam, he was her husband. He was supposed to be watching out for her. And he, he took it, he didn't, he didn't say no, he ate it. She gave it to him and he ate it. And you know, sometimes I think he needs to be held a little more responsible. And he, he was, obviously. He was totally held responsible, as was she. And the rest of humanity. So if you want to learn more about that, Genesis is a great chapter to start with. Genesis is a very, very cool book of the Bible to read. It's very uh, fast and interesting. It's got a lot of really great stories in it. So I hope that you will take the time to read the book of Genesis. There's a lot of drama in it. <laughs> really fascinating things actually in the book of Genesis. So read it, read it, read it, and have lots of fun doing it while you do your Bible journaling. Uh, let's come in with just a little bit of white and I think I'll be done, but I do wanna play with that white pen because I love a good white pen. And actually what I can do as well is come in here and maybe just kind of touch up the middle of some of these white letters so that you can't tell that they're white on the inside and that's another good thing about having a pen to just kind of touch up things sometimes so cool and then I can come in with my white pen here and maybe draw some little dots and how many times in your life has Satan like deceived you like think about that as we're doing our Bible drawing together he's such a deceptor of our world and so that's what I'm thinking about today and you can do some journaling you can do some writing if you want to whatever you want to is totally up to you but I think I'm done with this review and with this page I hope that you enjoyed it please leave me a thumbs up and I hope you have a wonderful day goodbye